Hello, in case you're wondering why we're here, you are spending some time with Media Guilds International Vegas voice actors, and we're celebrating our July 4th, 1776 anniversary. So, let's join the party. Thanks for this lovely barbecue. I'm having a great time. How about you guys? I'm feeling pretty patriotic. I'm having a little Yankee Yeah. John Jay, Thomas Jefferson, and James Madison, and there were more. And of course, General George Washington, who led us in the battle against Britain and King George. Oh, and by the way, we give thanks to a brave army made up of farmers, woodcutters, hunters, just common people. The men and women who were engaged in the war were unsung heroes. Lest we forget Patrick Henry, remember him? Here he was, a young revolutionary soldier who knew he was going to face certain death, called out, give me liberty or give me death. Yes, but don't forget Paul Revere and his midnight ride. Yeah, yeah what a great plan he had for his resolution. Mm -hmm. now, listen, my children, you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere. On the 18th of April in 75, hardly a man is now alive who remembers that famous day and year. He said to his friend, if the British march by land or sea from the town tonight, hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch of the North Church Tower as a signal light. One if by land and two if by sea, and I on the opposite shore will be ready to ride and spread the alarm through every Middlesex village and farm. For the country folk to be up and to arm. Oh, beautiful, for spacious skies, for amber waves of grain, for purple mountain majesties, above the fruited plain. America, America, God shed his grace on thee, and crown thy good with brotherhood from sea to shining sea. This country is beautiful. You're always moved by this country's grandeur. From east to west. You know something? I really love this country. Yes, we all do, but why do we really love it? You ask me why, Oliver? Give me time and I'll explain. Have you seen a Kansas sunset or an Arizona rain? Have you drifted down a fire down Louisiana? Way? Have you seen a cold fog drifting over San Francisco Bay? Have you heard of Bob White calling in a Carolina pine, or a bellow of a diesel in an Appalachian mine? Does the call of the Niagara thrill you when you hear her waters roar? 
Do you look with awe and wonder at her Massachusetts shore? Where men who braved a hard new world first stepped on Plymouth Rock. Do you hear of them when you stroll along New York City dock? Have you seen a snowflake drifting in the Rockies up way up high? Have you seen the sun come blazing down on the better sky? Do you hail to the Columbia as she rushes to the sea? Do you bow your head at Gettysburg for our, at our struggle to be free? Have you seen the mighty Tetons? Have you watched an eagle soar? Have you seen the Mississippi as it runs along Missouri's shore? Have you felt a chill at Michigan when on a winter's day her waters raged along the shore in thunderous display? Does the word aloha make you warm? Do you stare in disbelief when you see the surf come roaring in at Wyoming Reef? From Alaska's call to the Everglades, from the Rio Grande to Maine, my heart cries out, my pulse runs fast at the might of her domain. You ask, you ask me why I love her, I have a million reasons why. My beautiful America, beneath God's wide, wide sky. That sums it up. You know, this tribute to America was written by John Mitchum and copywritten in 1971. Happy Stand beside her and guide her through the night with the light from above. From the mountains to the prairies to the oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet.